Hey guys, welcome back to another tech control video. The first video of 2021. Thank goodness 2020 is over. If you're just as excited as I am, make sure to show your support. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you're not new, before you watch this, comment below who would you like to see in Smash. Let's get into it. Guess what's up next? <laughs> are, you, are you are you are you heading into my wheelhouse right now? This is your wheelhouse, so I'm gonna have to blur these I mean, commercials out or something. I don't even know. I'll just I'll just skip it. Like uh, like, well, it's not technically a new game, so I guess we don't really have to talk about it much. But yeah, like Sephiroth being in Smash Brothers was uh, really really crazy, which I made a. Uh, a reaction to it, by the way, on my channel, Play Sesh. Uh, but yeah, it's was, it was really, it's, it, it was almost like Cloud. Because when Cloud came out, it just came out of nowhere. Nobody was expecting that. So that was the same thing with uh, Sephiroth when it was announced. So it's it's pretty yeah. it's pretty cool. Well, I, I think the, um, the best part here is that it's not another Fire Emblem character. Right? And mm -hmm. um, this guy... Now, I full disclosure, I haven't played Final Fantasy VII the remake, um, but from what from what I understand, he is the main uh, villain of the of the game, and he is like badass, you know. And to be honest, this reveal kind of makes him look like badass, and, and with his long hair, you know, sort of like heavenly <laughs> badass. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know. This, I mean, but this one looks pretty cool, though. Yeah, it's very heavily inspired by uh, uh, the Advent Children uh, movie, okay. which came out a, a long, long time ago. Like maybe okay. 15 years ago or something like that. Yeah, yeah. And, and I love this part here where it looked like he stabbed Mario. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, but, that's uh, also like a, a tribute from that movie as well. Okay. Like, that he does that to Cloud, yeah. Pretty much all of all of the CG uh, parts is basically mm -hmm. like a tribute to that movie. Okay. So interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, either way, I mean, th th this was a cool reveal. I'm very happy that it wasn't like a uh, somebody boring or you know. I mean, when Steve mm -hmm. came out, the internet was split. Everyone either loved him or hated him. I'm one of those that that do love the the fact that they added Steve. Um, yeah, and me too. Literally, it's yeah, yeah. It literally broke Twitter. <laughs> Twitter went down for for a, a little bit as soon as that happened. Um, so this was a cool reveal. Uh, really quickly before I move on to the next one, any thoughts on who the next Smash character is going to be? Well, I had my theories of who this one could have been, but it didn't pan out. That doesn't mean that it won't happen because I've heard other people talk about it. So, like, I was thinking that possibly, what was it, Jonesy from Fortnite could have been it. Because, oh, okay, I can see that. Be be because if, for those that don't know, the current season in Fortnite, like, their whole big theme is hunters. So, who's the biggest hunter in Nintendo? Because they already have Master Chief from Xbox. Mm -hmm. They have Kratos from PlayStation. So, All obviously, right. the one that's missing is Nintendo. And the biggest right. hunter in Nintendo would be Samus. So yeah. I was thinking, I was thinking that maybe they would have worked out a deal because Nintendo is kind of weird when it comes to ha having their characters show up anywhere else. Mm -hmm. uh, that you know they could have traded Samus for Fortnite and then have Jonesy appear in Smash. So, but it, it, it yeah. can still happen. I don't know. Like maybe the next, the next, which I would think the next character would be revealed maybe. February, March, somewhere around that time. That late? You don't think January? No, because that's that's kind of what their schedule is. Like Every I knew there months. was a there was a like in December. There's always one. There's always one in September. There's always one in like the summer, and then there's always one like around spring. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what happened to the video here. Okay. Um. So. So used to all right, Jonesy. That that's a good that's a good pick. Um. I'm actually going to go with Ori from the Will of the Wisps 
and uh, what's the other one? Ori and the something forest. Anyway, uh, I really think Ori is supposed to be an Xbox exclusive, but you can also play that game on the Switch. So I think Nintendo and Microsoft sort of, you know, have a handshake agreement. Hey, here's my game on your console. You put Ori in, in Super Smash Bros. And to be honest, um, the changes that they made from Ori 1 to Ori 2 feels like they made specifically... I, I, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but Ori feels like a Smash character in Ori 2. That, that's just... Really? Interesting. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's minor changes, but in Ori 1, the combat was this energy blast that it would blast from a light of energy that came from its head. But in Ori 2, the light was still there, but it was no longer shooting blasts. You were actually giving a light sword, and it had pretty good reach. I felt like this sword and the reach that it had was more for to accommodate if this character were to enter Smash. 